Today, we're going to balance the equation of FeCl3 plus H2S. When they come together, it will yield Fe2S3 plus HCl. I already wrote out our little balancing chart here, as well as the elements that I see that are on both the left and the right sides. So let's start balancing. Well, actually, let's just name how many we have first, right? And then we'll get to balancing. So let's start with the first one. For iron, I have one iron because I don't see a subscript next to it. That means there's one. I have three chlorines. So I'm going to put a three here. I have two hydrogens. I'm going to put a 2 here, and then for the sulfur, there's only 1 there, so 1. Coming over to the product side, I have 2 irons. I'm going to put a 2 here. I have 3 sulfurs, so I'm going to put a 3 down here. And for both H and Cl, I don't see any subscripts, so 1 H and 1 Cl. So 1 and 1. Now, we just balance by multiplying a lower number by a whole number to get to the higher number. So let's give it a shot. Uh, the first one I see is iron. Let's see if it could work. 1 times what will get me to 2? Yeah, 1 times 2. And the number that you say here is the coefficient for the compound that has the element in there. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of here. Now whenever you do that, you just got to be fair. This coefficient now gets distributed between both the iron and the chlorine. So you'll have two new numbers for those. You have two irons, so that's a 2 now. And now you have 2 times 3 chlorines. 2 times 3 is now 6. So that's my new chlorine number. Cool. Let's just keep going down the line. Now since the chlorines are different, let's balance them. Always go from the lower to the higher number. 1 times what will get me to 6? 1 times 6. And the number that you said is the coefficient for the compound that has that element. So I'm going to put a 6 here. But since it's a compound, I have to be fair. I have to change the hydrogen and the chlorine number. But since they both just had 1s, right? 6 times 1 is just 6. So both of these would turn into 6s. Cool. Let's keep going down the line. Let's do the hydrogen. 2 times what will get me to 6? Oh, 2 times 3. And that number that you stated is now the coefficient for the compound that has that element in it. So I'm going to put a 3 here. But then you got to be fair, right? We have to distribute this 3 to the hydrogen and the sulfur. So 3 times 2, that's the 6 hydrogen. And then now I have three sulfurs, right? There is one here, so three times one is just three. And looky there, by balancing the hydrogen, we actually balance the sulfur, and now everything is balanced. So we have our balanced equation. We have two FeCl2s plus three H2Ss, which will yield one Fe2S3 plus six HCls. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, or not tuning in, but, you know, listening to the video or watching this video. I hope I've given you good enough content and that, you know, helped you out in your balancing, you know, balancing part of the chemistry class. So thank you so much for that. And I'll see you in future lessons, okay? All right. Take care. Bye-bye.